Hello, junk journaling friends. Thanks for being here. Welcome back to my channel, Amanda's Junk Journals. Um, thank you, new subscribers. It's good to have you here. I'm going to be making three layouts, and they're actually going to be about my husband. I have all of these little pieces of ephemera from his new shoe purchases. He purchased three new shoes in the past few days. Um, I also have a pic uh, three pictures I wanted to include, one from an antique mall, one from Mother's Day, and one from a hike we had. I'm going to be including some um, ribbon, and that was a piece of a, a handle from a bag. Um, also maybe some gauze and washi tape. I also have these cutouts from um, vintage ephemera uh, that I uh, have accum accumulated, some magazines, some scrapbooking paper, some just odds and ends that I have. Um, I went through like my, my junk bin and got some scrapbook paper and just little things that might, oh, some word stickers. Just some things I, I thought might go well with these pictures and these stories that I want to tell. I love that book page. It goes really well with the antique mall picture. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. So I, I chose my first page in my journal. And I wanted to make a pocket from this giant uh, book page. I love the, um, the image of the two men sword fighting and that went with the picture of the sword my husband picked up well I mean he lifted it we didn't actually take it home <laughs> So now I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to add extra embellishments to this layout. I don't want it to be just the big pocket and image and photo. So, and I need places for journaling. So that's kind of what I'm trying to figure out right now. I, this is a um, an extra edge from, I think it was um, a Johanna, a little bendy um, uh, digital that I didn't use that little fringe part and I thought it went well and then I wanted to frame my uh, photo so I used some scrapbooking paper that was left over from another project and um, and I wanted to cover up the words on the um, giant pocket image of the sword fighters so I used another bit of scrapbooking paper and here I'm just adding the extra ribbon. Black is my husband's favorite color. So I'm trying to add lots of black. And that's why I chose this look page because it had the black uh, Maggie Holmes tab on it. I'm also keeping things really simple and just using my glue stick for a lot of things. Glue sticks are so easy to use. And so far they've been pretty sturdy on things. And I don't need... Um, a, a lot of room for the pocket because this pocket is so ginormous that the glue stick I think is gonna work well and I can spread a lot of, of um, glue there and to make it extra sturdy I just added some staples to each side and now I'm putting on the spot for my uh, main journaling and my cat kitty bubba has made an appearance for this video so everyone say hi to kitty bubba he'll come again I'm sure Here I'm basically trying to use up lots of different elements and lots of different scraps I have pulled out. So I'm just pasting away, having a good time, no really rhyme or reason. I just want to use up lots of different elements and make it more interesting. I'm also going to use one of these scrapbooking journaling cards I have. I really liked it with that leather appearance it has. It says, there's no time to be bored in a world as beautiful as this, and I love that. I 
I recently got Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher and I love it, so I'm using it as much as I can, attaching those ribbons. It's a great thing. And now I'm doing some journaling. I'm just using a black fine point Sharpie and I'm adding some of those word stickers I got. I, I got, they're just from Amazon. I'm not sure if they have like a really good um, brand name, but yeah, they're really fun to use, really easy. So I felt like I was pretty done with that page, so I've moved on to the next page with the picture of Michael on the beautiful spring day after our hike looking over our field. And I found a page with a doily and a blue piece of scrapbook paper that I thought would look good. Attached the photo with ribbon to the doily. It's not very secure, so we'll see how that goes. Maybe if I'm careful. And then I love these black and white vintage um, flyers. Their images were so perfect for things that Michael loves. He loves lighthouses and fishing and the land. So I kind of added those things, that tree with a ribbon that seems to be kind of like the theme of my pages. And I put some gray paper on the back of it for journaling. And then I had this little scrap from a magazine that I really liked. I like the colors, so I kind of just put it in there. I don't know, it's kind of random. And also um, this piece of a, a flyer from a national park or a state park it has poison ivy on it and my hair with the leaves on it and I totally wanted to use it just to use up that little scrap. I thought it went well. And so I just took a teeny little piece right next to the um, this little quote and now I'm using one of my favorite washi tapes, the Morris Sea Green or Seaweed washi tape, just to add a little more stability to my little paper doily from Walmart. And then I'm, of course, it goes through some of the holes in the back. So I'm just uh, making sure nothing else sticks to that by adding a little pieces of washi tape to the back of that. And now I'm cutting up some more grid paper for journaling. And this time I'm using uh, my Micron, uh, my Pigma Micron. I think it's the size is O2 for journaling underneath that photo. And now I'm using my uh, little date stamper. And I saw this on a again where I'm gonna put this little picture of my Mother's Day flowers. These are the little roses from the front of our house that I planted and they're doing so well. So I really liked getting um, a vase of those for Mother's Day. So now I'm deciding I'm probably not gonna put it on the other page, but I'm gonna start on the third page where I put the ephemera from Michael's work boots and all the shoes that he bought. I like the color in this uh, vintage magazine piece, plus um, the element of food, which also relates to Kind of the story I'm going to tell. And this other picture with the tree is just beautiful and I just wanted to add it. So I'm just trying to figure out where everything goes. You know how it is. These tags really inspired me to start uh, journaling these pages because there were so many of them and they were so little and I wanted them lined up on a page. It just, I don't know, it just caught my attention. And I thought it would be cool to have like, you know, fabric or something sticking out or doing something fun with the tags. But at this point, I'd been journaling for so long, I just wanted to glue them down on the paper. And so I figured it'd be fine if I did that because they were still in a row and still kind of basically had the concept of what I wanted to do with those tags as pieces of ephemera on my journaling page. So 
So for this little real tree tag, I wanted to see both sides. I wanted to see the uh, camo that was on my husband's shoes. So I make a little flip of it so I can see both sides of the tag with uh, the seaweed washi tape and these two little plastic water bottles. Um, I just thought they were so cute. And I wanted to keep the little raffia that attached to them. So I just staple, staple, staple with my little tiny detacher. And now I'm just kind of uh, thinking about, again, what fun things can I do with these little holes. So I put a little tiny brad on the big uh, tag that I wanted to be see, be able to see the back of. I think that will in time will be really cool. And so I can't reach these um, little tags the holes. So I'm just putting like a little, a little dash of this almost black washi tape that I had that I've been using throughout the pages. So I'm going to use the little sticker sayings, and, but I'm switching it up this time and using the white ones. The first one says, I adore you. And then the next one says, be your beautiful self, because this is basically it's all about Michael. You know, he bought two pairs of Crocs and a pair of work boots all in a few days. And it inspired me to talk more about my husband and what he likes and doesn't like. And you'll see more of that. And I finally get to use my white gauze. I've been, I've had that forever and never used it. So I, I, I take a little tiny piece of gauze just to make some texture on this tab. And then I wanted to use that little piece of, is, is it raffia? It's a little handle. I kind of take, cut a piece and undo it a little bit. So it's nice and crinkly. It's got lots of texture and it's black. And then I attach a little star brad that I've had for quite some time in my scrapbooking stash. So here's the final product with the journaling, the date, all the tags, the Mother's Day, um, a little favorite things to wear tag, and a little note on his obsession with Freddy's and their onion rings. And this page is all about the land and the things Michael likes to do in our hike. And then here's the page about our trip to uh, the vintage store. So thank you for being here and watching along with my Junk Drum With Me video. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Um, please, if you don't mind, like, subscribe, and share if you like my video. Bye guys. See you next time.